Hi everybody. It's still Saturday and I don't want to get behind and I don't want to miss out on Shannon's challenge. It's a weekly challenge and this week is week four. Um, she's actually getting married today. Woohoo, girl. Congratulations, sweetie. I hope you guys go away and enjoy each other and kick it up and have fun. Um, today is the week four of her Inspired Art Weekly Challenge. And she is, um, I don't know the word, um, not honoring, but anyway, she watched Gail Augustinelli's video, um, Oh, admiring. She's admiring Gail's work is what I was trying to say. Holy cow, guys. Oh. I know there are others. I've heard you talk. I know there are others out there who <clears throat> have brain fog and all kinds of other stuff. And, man, I am having a day. So this, um, I did the collage first. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I want to show you. This is my bin. Okay, this puppy is six inches tall and 13 inches long and 10 inches wide. Yeah, I think I need to do some scrap projects. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not very good at this, I don't think. And I've got this down because I'm going, I'm going to use it as a media mat to get all grungy for my shabby grunge journal. I want to do um, a dark grungy journal, dark as in theme and mood and such. So I want to do a dark journal and then I want also want to do your standard Victorian-ish kind of journal. Where's my corner chomper? Let's choose. Actually, Grandma, let's grab this one. This is how it starts. Did you see my desk before? Nothing out. And this is how it starts. Oh. I watched Lindsay, the frugal crafter. Love her. If you feel like you need to pick me up, just go hang out with her for a minute. She's got energy for days. Today she was talking about how she was craving kale. I'm like, what? No. Who does that? Who craves kale? Nobody. But apparently Lindsay does, so I guess I'll give her that. So I put a few drops of reinker in my pad because I'm getting ready to do this grunge journal and I, it's pretty dried up, so I had to buy a bottle. I bought two from Michael's because I'm gonna, I don't know, I might do a leather front. I might just do leather accents. I don't know, but I want to have it available or whatever. But anyway, the grunge itself is gonna take some ink. Anyway, I put it in there. I've never used reinker. I don't, I've never seen anybody do it. I should go watch somebody. It let, I sat it overnight and it didn't do anything. I have the same little six, whatever it was, spots on it. So I added a couple drops of glycerin. I don't know. Don't say I told you so, but it seems to be working. Um, now the shabby, the feminine shabby one that I'm gonna do may not have a lot of color. Um, it might be kind of neutral. 
So I'm thinking creams and tans and um, you know grays and things like that. This could be pages. I might turn it into pages. It could be the cover, um, whatever. Whatever floats my boat. went downstairs and uh, made some dip. A lady that used to work for me, hi Nancy, used to make every Christmas, she would make this dip. Oh, and I would wait for it. I loved it. And, um, ooh, too much ink. Finally, when I sold the restaurant and moved out of town and everything and all that was going on, I said, girl, I love you and I'm going to miss you, you know, and all that, but I'm really, I, I need the recipe to that dip. <laughs> so she was kind enough to share it and um, so easy. My husband doesn't eat carbs. At least he tries not to. It needs something softer, although I do like that. But I need, I need, ooh, I like this. I've been waiting for something to use that on. Let's look and see what we've got over here. Um, let's just get out. Ooh, that would be a pretty tie on my journal. Let's just get out some, just a little... See, this is going to be like what the journal is going to be like. So if you are in the mood to make a little something like that, come over. Come on over. <laughs> I'd love to do it with you. Okay, I think we're good. That's good. I don't want this. Changed my other mind. Oh, the pain. Okay, we should have lots of choices now. This one looks like it wants to play. Let's see what it's got. Okay, I like I like the choices so far, so I think we can start gluing it down. Ooh, what do I want? I have to make some more stain. I'm almost out. I'm going to add, um, well, it's going to depend. I want to try to add some of my husband's boot polish. I don't know. Don't tell him I told you, but that's what I'm going to try to do. If you want to try to do that, you're on your own because maybe you're not supposed to. I don't know. That needs something. Yeah, this is how you get everything in your whole room out. I'm grabbing some script. At least that's the plan. This is Tim Holtz. Mm, I think. I don't know.
Let's see. We've already got some scripts, so I think I'll change my other mind and do this. I don't think we really need a block, do we? Tell me no. Well, maybe we do. <laughs> Actually, you kind of do. <laughs> Okay, that, that'll work. It's permanent ink, so let's get the stamp off. It's just too, just too straight. I believe that. Let's get the other glue. Where are you? There are so many awesome collaborations and projects to get involved with. If you're burnt out or you're having trouble getting your mojo, first of all, clean your room. That always helps me. I find things. There we go. That's great. That inspire me. What is under there? Glue blobbles. Get out of there. All right. We're on our way. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Now, where's my little strip of fabric that I had? I can already tell this is a little darker than what I have in mind for my shabby journal, but it might work well in the dark journal. We'll see. I'm not going to do them both at the same time. So, we'll see. Oh, I like that it goes over that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But do I want something else? I kind of like just that. Okay, my TV just changed to somebody, and I don't know who it is, but whatever they're doing, they've got some beautiful Baroque, I think it is, fabric. Wow. I think it's Tanya or Tatiana or Tanya from Taddy Treasures. No, Natasha from Treasure Books. That's who it is. Hmm, okay. I do feel like I love this little intersection right here. Love that. What else? Anything? Let's let it sit for a minute and think about itself. It's a little darker than what I was going for, but it'll be 
it'll be okay for something. I like it, so we'll we'll let it play. Now what? That came together really fast. I turned Shannon on. I don't know why uh, it switched. Okay, how about if we go a little lighter? This is cardstock. I have some new um, ink I want to try out. And I think, depending on how the journal goes, I may use more hues of tea dyed instead of um, vintage photo, but I don't think, if I'm looking in my inks, I don't think I have tea dyed. Hmm. And I don't. So now what? Huh. I thought I did. I thought I did, so I didn't buy any because I thought I had it. Crushed olive, weathered wood, scattered straw is good. Hmm. Well, let's try, let's try this and see. I still have to label this, but I've got a new dauber, so this will be what is it called? Victorian velvet. I don't know if I'll use it for the edges, but it's pretty. Um, should we go with this still? I like it. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Wow. Hmm. Beautiful. Okay, maybe we should do two at a time. So Angela Toma is going to get the last kit. That I'm giving away for the channel challenge. I really tried um, to make it affordable. You know, I didn't go out and buy a bunch of stuff. I went through my room because I knew that I have a lot of stuff. Oh, that's too dark. But I like this part. You know, like all of us, you buy, you know, you need a special kind of uh, paper clip and you have to buy a hundred of them. So I was just basically sharing. Let's do this in brown. And I think I've whittled down, but I was going to talk to you guys about 
Who all wants to do a napkin swap? Anybody want to do a napkin swap? I was thinking like 20 napkins. Oh, I have no strength, y'all. None. I gotta get a head start. <laughs> I can't do it. Shoot. <laughs> I want to use this. Oh, I did it. Yay. Okay. Cool. Now, I don't want it to be super dark. So, what am I going to do? Hmm, that takes the sheen out of it. There you go. Okay. I like that. It needs something in between. This is this is Martha Managross's jelly printed um, background pages. They're great. They're tea. They look like tea dyed kind of. They're sort of grungy. I, I think she's closed her Etsy shop on vacation, but oh yeah, that's nice. Okay. Mm. strength today. This is just too big. That's the problem. Could see that happening. What if I took some of this? Yeah, I could totally see that happening. Okay, so we'll use paper glue here. like the intersection where they all meet. Okay, and then I need some, maybe I'll put this right here.
I like it. Can't think of anything I need on there. It does maybe need a little something in the center of that. But I don't know if that's going to be like beads or, oh, I have this. I have this little, this is little, well, that's gorgeous. Let's do that. It's been hanging around on my desk now for three journals, just waiting for its opportunity, like an understudy. <laughs> Somebody trips and falls, I'm right here. I got you. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. I like that. What I'm basically doing, because I'm making this ephemera to kind of go with my shabby journal is, this is how I work. I'm sort of getting in gear. I'm... I'm... Setting the mood. And sometimes I can do that by just starting on the cover. Um, but sometimes I do it by dyeing the paper. Yeah, I like that. Might could maybe put some stickles or something, some Nouveau drops right there, but we'll see. So far, I think it's um, fine. So there's two. This one is more conducive to the new journal, I think. But we'll set those over here. Okay. We're on a roll. Let's keep going. We have this one. So let's not do the exact same thing. looks side up down to me. There's this little scrap of faux leather. There's a little flower that's been hanging around for a while. Um, what else? What else? Let's look at these. Oh, this is cool. I'm not sure. Ooh, I like this one better. Actually, what's that say? Something I, Thomas F. No, 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 no. I don't know. The rest of today might be a Netflix kind of day for me. I forgot to give you guys the recipe. Do you want the recipe for that dip? I use a few a food processor because it's really hard to mix up but you take you go get one of those little tubs I don't know how many ounces they are probably like six four six something like that of cheddar sharp cheddar it's the Hawaiian sharp cheddar um, it's in a little tub about like that usually in the deli section don't use the port wine one it's disgusting um, I think it's Hawaiian it has a it's like K-A-U-K-A-U-N or something like that. Anyway, um, you get one tub of that and two packages of cream cheese. Put it in your blender, in, no, in your food processor. 
put in a handful of pecans if you have them, walnuts if you have them. Peanuts don't work very well, but pecans do. And gotta have something under there. And a half a package of What is it called? Good Seasons? All Seasons? No. Um, let me look. I want to make sure you get the recipe right. Hold on. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. It's in the blue package. Um, you can make buttermilk dressing like ranch hidden valley a one pa half a package of hidden valley dip mix put all that in your blender i add about a half a teaspoon of worcestershire and then blend it all together i use it with crackers my husband uses it with uh Celery, because he doesn't eat crackers. That's not going to work. Hmm. There's, it's, there's got to, it's, 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 <laughs> it's not happening. It's not happening for me. I have this, and I, I guess I'll use it. It's the same one as the other, but it works, so let's use it. Yeah, and you just turn the turn the processor on or let it go. It's freaking amazing. At Christmas time, um, what I do is I blend it all up and then I get a bowl and crush nuts in it and um, bacon. And when it comes out of the processor I pat it into a ball and roll it in the nuts and bacon and then put it in the fridge overnight and it gets firm it is so good people just rave about it bring that dip yeah way good but for a casual day today I didn't really I don't really have that energy to do much. You know what I think I'll do? I think I will put a crazy stitch maybe right here. Maybe. And I also think I will cut this down so it's not so not screaming quite so loud. I don't know what I'm having a problem with but I'm not sure I like this. Tammy help! So there's three. How long have we been at this? Where's my timer? Oh, it's hiding. I can't see it. Huh. I don't know how long we've been at this. At this. This is my favorite one. Maybe that's what this needs, is it needs a little... Oh, where's that flower? There you go. There you go. What do you think? One, two, and three. I don't know how many Tammy Shannon did. Um, I was going to have her on watching while I did this, but it turned to somebody else's channel. I don't know why. So I better get the label maker out and make myself a label and dedicate this.
so I can find it and I know what color I have. And then I may make a couple more of these. Thank you to Gail Augustinelli for inspiring Shannon. Everybody go over to Shannon's channel at Mixed Media Minnesota and tell her happy wedding day. She is getting married to her boyfriend. Woot, woot. Enjoy yourself, kiddo. I know you're probably missing your mom. But I think she's watching. What do you think? I think, I bet she's watching. I bet she's happy for you. Okay. Well, I'm off to the races. Bye for now, guys. Let's all take care of each other. Bye.